Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Wednesday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. Hope you're doing well this day. Very nice autumn day, isn't it? Well, I want to continue our series on the sacraments, and I want to dive in now to the Holy Eucharist, especially since we're approaching our annual 40 hours. So have you ever been to a 40-hour celebration here in our parish? I hope you have. And if you haven't, would you come this year? We have a wonderful young priest who will be our guest homilist. His name is Father Alessandro Pietro Giardini, a nice Irish guy. No, <laughs> he's a nice Italian guy. He's the parochial vicar or the assistant pastor at St. Eleanor Parish in Collegeville. He will be coming here. He's a baby priest ordained one and a half years. Isn't that beautiful? He will be our guest homilist. So 40 hours, what is that all about? And how did that originate in the life of the church? Good question. St. Philip Neri started it. He wanted to make sure there were a devotional time for the Eucharist exposition where Jesus is placed in the monstrance, giving some time and honor to Jesus exposed in the monstrance. We could see him. Because usually if we make a visit to a church, he's in the tabernacle, which is true presence, absolutely. But here he's exposed to everyone. You see the sacred host. And you come in and you make either a single genuflection or a double genuflection. You get down on both knees because he's there present in the Blessed Sacrament. But if you can't even get down on one knee, people make a profound bow, which means that you're making a bow from the waist, a body bow. And you're there before the Blessed Sacrament. And you go in your pew, and you have some time alone with Jesus. So we have adoration, you know, with the Blessed Sacrament 24-7. It's called perpetual adoration. And I just want to throw in, if you're not an adorer, would you consider being an adorer? We have several hours open, and we need them to be covered. I can't have the Blessed Sacrament out without someone adoring him. So check the Sunday Bulletin, see what hours are open, and contact Mary Catherine Boucher to be an adorer. And that's how simple it is. And don't even worry, you'll be able to make your commitment. Don't even worry. The Lord will give you the graces but we do, we do need coverage for our Adoration Chapel. Now, for 40 hours, you know, we bring the chapel, so to speak, into the church. In other words, the monstrance is going to be on the main altar of the main church, and the adorers will be adoring in the church at that particular time. But we still need adorers because we are lacking adorers. And I cannot stress this enough because I'm not allowed to have adoration without adorers. So please, please, please seriously consider signing up for an hour a week and to be with Jesus. How beautiful is that to be with Jesus an hour a week? I hope you think it, it will be the most beautiful hour you'll have outside of mass that is because i don't even want to downplay mass mass is of course high of importance but to be with jesus there that's beautiful beautiful so 40 hours again saint philip neary wanted to make sure that christ is adored in his most blessed sacrament exposed on the altar it's a good Good idea. And St. Philip Neri promoted that. I'm happy about that. 
and it was brought to our country by our fourth bishop. Do you know who our fourth bishop was? The fourth bishop of Philadelphia? St. John Newman. He's the one, when he was, he was the bishop of Philadelphia, we weren't an archdiocese yet. We were still a diocese. Well, Bishop Newman, that's why you don't hear us say Archbishop Newman. We only say Bishop Newman because he was a bishop. He wasn't an archbishop. Well, anyway, he brought the devotion of 40 hours to the Diocese of Philadelphia. And he said to the priest, I want everyone to have this Eucharistic devotion in their parish. Okay, the bishop is asking the priest to do this. So the priests were reluctant at the beginning because it's new and you know what happens, everybody. Anytime anything is new, everyone poo-poos it. Like, oh, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this. That's another thing. So, but Bishop Newman said, no, it's a good thing. I want you to do it. And in fact, I want everyone to do it so that everyone has it at different times of the year. So that no matter what time of the year it is, there'll be adoration. So your, this parish does it these three days. Then this parish does it these days. Then this parish does it this week. Then this parish does it this week. So it's done all over the diocese, no matter no matter where it's happening, but it's happening in the diocese. So right now, 40 hours is going on in the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. We have 214 parishes, give or take one. I think it's 214 parishes. So right now, someone is having 40 hours. In fact, October is a big month for 40 hours among many parishes. So there might be two or three parishes having 40 hours this week. We're having it next week. And I'm sure there's two or three parishes around the archdiocese that is having 40 hours the same time we're having 40 hours. St. Mary in Schwanksville has 40 hours the last Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of October. That's our little, that's our time. And that time is registered down at the Archdiocese. Yeah, we register our time with the office down there because every parish is to submit their 40 hour dates to the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. Did you know that? Yeah, this is a big thing. I'm not talking about like, oh, if you want it. No, we are to promote devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. Well, thanks be to God, we have an adoration chapel that is perpetual. So right there, we promote devotion. Secondly, we have annual 40 hours. Third, guess what? We have an annual Corpus Christi procession. Do you think we promote the Eucharist? Absolutely. We're a Eucharistic community here at St. Mary's, just like every parish is. But we have to make sure that we are faithful to that. We are faithful to that, and we are. So our 40 hours will be the last Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of October, which is the 25th, the 26th, and the 27th this year of October at seven o'clock in the evening. And we'll have the service then, which will be, we'll pray Vespers. Have you ever heard of the word Vespers? It's evening prayer. We're, we sing the psalms. You know, the psalms are meant to be sung. We sing the psalms. The same psalms that Jesus sang when he was in the synagogue and temple. How about that? You and I are singing the same psalms that Jesus sang? Yeah. How about that? I think that's wonderful. Well, anyway, the service begins at 7 o'clock. And we'll have a beautiful homily by Father Giardini. And we'll have benediction. And then the altar will, the, the monsters will stay on the altar. Father will not put Jesus back in the tabernacle. He'll stay on the altar. It's called 
nocturnal adoration. Nocturnal adoration. In those words, it goes through the night. It goes through the night adoration. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, to be with Jesus. Now, why 40 hours? Well, 40 is a biblical number, as you know. Think of all the 40s in the Bible. 40 days and 40 nights. Think of 40. This is where 40 hours really gets its name. The 40 hours that Jesus spent in the tomb before he rose. They, they take that 40 hours and they just are with Jesus. But it's it's, it's the biblical number 40, that powerful number that we're with our Lord and we remember. We remember his death and ultimate glorious resurrection. Because that's what the Eucharist is. Isn't the Eucharist the glorified body of Jesus? The glorified body of Jesus. You're receiving him in his glorified body. That's how we receive him. And he becomes part of us. That's the beauty of it. So anyway, we're having 40 hours. This Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday. Now we'll open 40 hours at the 12 noon Mass. In other words, at after Mass, or after Communion, I should say, I'll expose the Blessed Sacrament in the Monstrance. I'll incense it and we leave quietly. After I say the final prayer, we leave. And then people will stay for a couple minutes and then whoever is whoever's adoring at that hour, they just stay there and they make their holy hour. And then they stay from 12 to 1. And then at 1 o'clock somebody comes and relieves them and they say, that person stays from one to two. And so on, and so on. Would you like to be in a door of the Blessed Sacrament? Take time to be with Jesus, pray your rosary, pray scripture. Just sit and adore and give him praise. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, absolutely beautiful. So, 40 hours to be with Christ, 40 hours in the Blessed Sacrament. That's why it's called 40 hours. So we're adoring all 40 hours across those three days, right? And we're remembering. We're remembering Christ, the 40 days and the 40 nights in the desert, where he was communion in communion with God, his Father. You and I, in communion with, of course, our Lord. The 40 hours he spent before the resurrection. All of these beautiful moments of spiritual meditation to be one with God. I think this world needs it, don't you think? Don't you think our world needs our Lord at this moment? Don't you think our country needs God? We need God. And I don't know why people are shutting him out as if they could solve all the problems of the world. Only God can. And God is waiting for us. God is waiting for us. You ever hear that prayer? May the heart of Jesus and the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. Have you ever heard of that prayer? Who gave us that prayer? St. John Newman. That prayer was penned by St. John Newman. That's why in the Archdiocese of Philadelphia you'll hear that more than any other diocese, I think because he was the fourth bishop of Philadelphia. So he gave us that prayer, and we say it after the divine praises. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection in all the tabernacles of the world, 
even to the end of time. Amen. How can you not love our Catholic faith? I don't understand it. I don't understand how people can just walk away from it and not be refreshed from it. If by any chance you are not practicing your Catholic faith, would you please, would you please go to confession and come home? Go and be reconciled to God and to the church and come home. It doesn't matter how long. I mean, people say, oh, it's been forever. Don't worry. Oh, it's been 30 years. Remember, in God's time, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that you're coming home. I think that's the most important thing of all. So, would you do yourself a favor? Would you please, everyone, attend 40 hours? So, Sunday night at 7, Monday night at 7, and the final night, Tuesday night at 7. Please do yourself a favor. So how long does it last? Uh, 45 minutes each night. Maybe an hour for the last night. Because there's a procession in the church. But about 45 minutes, 45 minutes, and then an hour, 60 minutes. 45, 45, 60 if you're into time, because some people are into time, some people are not into time. You know, some people say, how long is this gonna last? Well, maybe you shouldn't go. <laughs> uh, how long is he gonna talk? I know. Isn't it funny how we could stay at a ball game until the cows come home? We could be outside in the parking lot talking to our girlfriend for four hours but it's like 15 minutes is like, ah, you're gonna jump off the roof. Well, anyway, just to put it in perspective, you know what I mean? So first night, 45 minutes at the most. Second night, 45 minutes at the most. I'm saying 40 minutes, but it could be 45 minutes. Third night, 60 minutes. So what do you think? Do you wanna come? 40 hours. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, 25th, 26th, and 27th day of October. So I hope that you're able to make it to get a deeper sense of Christ in the most blessed sacrament. And then what I'll do tomorrow and uh, what I'll do Friday is I'm going to try to talk about the Mass and the Eucharist, the matter, the form, the minister. Remember, we're still doing, I still want to do that series. But I wanted to talk to you about 40 hours because it's important. It's important that you attend these devotions and give yourself over to Jesus. Consecrate yourself to the, to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, to the Most Blessed Sacrament. May the, may the Heart of Jesus in the Most Blessed Sacrament, see? So I just told you to consecrate yourself to the Sacred Heart in the Blessed Sacrament. May the heart of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. See how I'm tying this all together for you? So consecrate yourself to the Sacred Heart of the Blessed Sacrament. Like St. John Newman has penned that prayer for us, and we pray it at the end of the Divine Praises. Also, I'll remind you again tomorrow, but Saturday, we're having our Oktoberfest. Well, Susan and her team, amazing. I, she was just telling me about the tents that are going up. So not one tent, tents that are going up. So if you're dining in with us, we're dining outside under the tent. Well, Susan's having market lights, high top tables. Uh, we'll have a bar set up by the patio. In fact, Susan's children, who are very nice, and they'll be 
the bartenders uh, there. It will be beautifully decorated, Mom's corn stall. Of course, we're having the October Fest food. Now you could have it two ways. You could have it a drive-by, curbside and go, I think they call it. And uh, I call it grab and go, but <laughs> it's a curbside and go. And you could have it dining outside under the tent and the market lights. So beautiful, nice food, 10 bucks. Come on, 10 bucks to eat in, wait till you see it all decorated. I mean, it's very nice. Hey, listen, it's our parish. Let's promote it, you know what I mean? Bring a friend, bring a friend. Uh, so if you're close to somebody, you know, you wear your mask, just out of respect. But when you're eating, you don't have to wear your mask. Okay, so I just ask you to consider coming. It's only 10 bucks. Enjoy it. Now the bar and the German pretzels, which I love, will be sold separately. There's some items that are sold separately. You have to understand that. But the $10 is for the your meal. But the other stuff, you could just, it's a la, what do they call that, a la carte? A la carte. Yeah, okay. See, I know some things with this stuff. So you just buy things, okay? Now, in conjunction with all of this is the $10,000 raffle. That's a lot of money. Now, the ticket does cost $100. I mean, the top prize is 10,000. The second prize is 5,000. The third prize is 2,500. The winner, the seller, Top prize, if they win the top prize, the seller of that person, well, that seller gets 500, right, Susan? Mm -hmm. And then the middle is 250, 250. and then 100, mm -hmm. right? Right. Wow. That's just selling it. That's, you're just selling it. And that's your money. But if you win it, how about if you just bought it yourself? Well, you get the prize and the seller money. That's wonderful. Isn't that nice? So anyway, that's Saturday from 5 to 8. So from 5 to 8, do you think you could come by? And the only reason I'm saying this to you is because there's a lot of work involved in it. And I just want people to appreciate all the work that other people do for the parish. There's nothing worse than, you know, having a big event and it's like, blah, blah, blah. It's like it's a flat soda. Like, no one comes. So, do you think you could bring a friend and stop by the Oktoberfest? I, I, I think you're going to like it. We're not going to do... Do we do anything here, you know, crappy? Sorry to use that word. I think we do everything here nice. So, you're not going to come to something that's like, the. You're going to come to something that's nice. So we're not going to treat you, you know, without love and respect because we're going to have tents and market lights and mums and corn stalks and a bar and food. And I think, are we going to have music, Susan? Yeah. Okay, great. So would you come? Would you bring a friend? Did you buy your ticket? I I want you to buy a Bonanza raffle ticket. I know it's a lot of money, it's $100, but the top prize is 10,000. And I told you before, it's not like we're selling to the entire state of Pennsylvania. So you're like, oh, I'm not gonna win. We're selling just to the parish and our friends. You have a great chance to win. Are you kidding me? That's a wonderful, take a chance. Because you might be the person, you know, Perhaps and it might be your name. You're like, I just won $10,000? Yeah. So, and whoever sold it to you won five hundred. dollars Could you imagine that? So, think about these things as we approach. So, Saturday night, Oktoberfest with the Bonanza Raffle. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, 40 hours. Beautiful. Join in the celebration. Join in the celebration of our parish family, St. Mary's, our shared home, this beautiful campus in Schwentzville. God bless you, everybody.